everyone, I'm Rachel Veal, the director of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, coming up this spring 2021, and I'm joined here with Jimmy. Hi, my name is Jim Bowen Collinson. Uh, I am the chair of the Theater Reopening Subcommittee for the Sterling Playmakers. It is a committee that is not only consists of our membership, um, but also health professionals, um, members of Loudoun County Public School System, and also members of the Loudoun County Parks and Recreation System that have been in the trenches trying to make sure that when we reopen theater, hopefully in January for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, that we, our audience and our members are safe. So you mentioned Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, love it. So our, your auditions are coming up, right? They are, I am so excited. I've been dreaming of doing this show since I was a kid and it's just so whimsical and fun and our auditions are October 8th, 9th and 10th uh, via Zoom. Oh, Zoom, I like that. So because it's on Zoom uh -huh. and not in person, so what uh, what can the auditionees expect? Because it's not a normal audition process that Sterling Playmakers has been accustomed to. Right, so we're trying to keep it as similar to traditional audition process mm -hmm. as possible. We'll have groups of about eight to 10 in one hour chunks. And the first 20 minutes we'll do introductions and then we'll break off into teams. Team A will do improv. Maybe they will uh, act how to, your reaction of stubbing your toe and see what happens. And then the other group will be working on their cold scene readings. And then they will swap and we'll all come back together to do one big scene reading as a group. Oh, all right. So is there any prep needed for this? Like, do they gotta go read the book or anything like that? Or? Nope, nope, good question, because that's always <clears throat> a hot one. We don't have um, any prep necessary. You just need to go on the website, uh, sterlingplaymakers.org, and sign up for auditions. There's an audition form, the character descriptions are on the website, and then you can sign up for an audition slot. Oh, wow. So is there a desired age range for the cast? Because I know it could mean anything when you think of Alice, right? Great question. There is no desired age range for the cast. We want everyone to come out for this show. And we think it's great when our stage reflects our community. Now we do have two buckets of roles. So our first bucket is ages 18 and under for our younger kids to teens. And then the second bucket is ages 14 and up. And that's for our older teens to adult. Alrighty, that sounds exciting. So yeah. because we're in this interesting world of COVID-19 pandemic, it seems like the rehearsals are gonna be a little bit different. So what are your rehearsal schedule gonna be like? So for the first four months, we are only going to have rehearsals via Zoom about twice a week. And then in January, we're going to reassess the situation with the goal, hopefully, of bringing everyone back on stage for blocking. But we wanna do so safely. And you know, I'm gonna, switch the questions back to you. So what are we doing um, as far as an organization to consider safety and security? Um, well, not to get too deep into the rabbit hole, um, I, will wanna, I do wanna say that we are following every state, local, and federal guidelines and procedures that have been set forth during all this time. Currently, we are in stage three mm -hmm. here in Nova. Um, so we are following closely to what Governor Northam has put aside and we are hoping to have these policies and procedures that we create as an organization that are linked with not only the governor but Loudoun County Public Schools um, and you can expect um, a couple of little safety and protection measures uh, to be seen when you start hopefully uh, when you start rehearsals in January. Um, we're also hoping to have a lot of those policies and procedures ironed out by then. Cool. What kind of safety measures um, do we anticipate in the spring? Um, it might be mat wearing face masks during mm -hmm. rehearsals, um, uh, during for our audience, maybe during a performance. Uh, some hand sanitizers may be handed out. There might mm -hmm. be some sanitization that needs to happen post rehearsal or after or end performance. Um, but please look to the website at sternlyplaymakers.org um, for what those will be when we get closer to January. Do you see the policies that are written now changing at all in the spring? I believe so. I feel like, you know, we are, we're, we'll see what things are. We're going to listen to Governor Northam and see what he has to say and where we are. But everything will change, so please look into our website at sterlingpaymakers.org. That's sterlingpaymakers.org for every show's page and our organization's page to know what's going on with our procedures for rehearsals and performances during this very unprecedented time right now for everybody. Awesome. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see everyone at auditions. Awesome. And so all of our information about auditions and about our COVID-19 strategy is available at sterlingplaymakers.org. And if you find our audition process does not fit what you are able to do, but you are interested in coming out to audition, please let us know. We don't want our process to keep anyone from being a part of this production. And if you've got any comments, questions, or concerns for whatever reason, please reach out to us at wonderland at sterlingplaymakers.org.